Antonio Napo, the Italian stallion, is a Canadian actor from Scarborough, Ontario. He is best known for his roles in Four Brothers, Saw II, Land of the Dead, and Bad Blood. He also is the voice of Jimmy Falcon in Forget About It. New York's mobster Jimmy Falcone joins the Witness Protection Program, which he re relocates him and his family to Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. The Vandits movies, Four Stoners, Idiots, Self-proclaimed, the Vandits have a bright idea to knock over Senior Citizens Bingo Hall on Christmas Eve. And Saw II, eight people trapped in a factory by the twisted serial killer known as Jigsaw. Detective Eric Matthews, along with fellow police officers and a SWAT team, locate Jigsaw liar and go to arrest him, but discover that his arrest is only a part of Jigsaw plan. Hollywood blockbuster Four Brothers is in a 2005 American thriller from directed by John Shingleton. The film stars Mark Wahlberg, Teresa Gibson, I, Andrew Benjamin, and Garrett Hedlund as adopted siblings who avenge the death of their mother. The film was shot in Michigan and inspired from the movies Sons of Katie Elder starring John Wayne and Dean Martin but we are here today for the audition for the stunt double uh, Goomba series where I reenact the stunts Tony won't be do because he's a lazy actor wish me luck for this new upcoming series the Goomba Hey, boss, I need, I need a part in the show, man. I'm going to be your stunt double, man. I'm going to do the voiceovers when you go for a smoke. And uh, <coughs> I'll do your voiceovers. You can, and I'll clean your toilets and do your stunt doubles because you're a lazy actor. And I want to be you, man. I want to be you and be a, a stunt double and clean your shit. Man, and then, you know, you pick up all the crap you want, you don't want to do, man. I want to be your stunt double. Come on, let me give me one chance, man. <laughs> give me one chance. One stunt double chance. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks for uh, being on my show, my podcast. For sure. I've been, for uh, sure. But I've been following you. You've been stalking me, breaking my fucking balls for ages. So I'm going to break your balls more. I had no choice. Get your finger out of my eye. Tell Hold me. on. Wait. I lost my fucking Zoom here. Hold on. Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, can you do professional? What are you wasting my time? You got to be professional, man. Yeah. <laughs> Where's uh, like a cameraman like me? I got my all the cameras, a witness. Tony yeah. I'm doing a movie, the Goomba series with two yeah. detectives. I'm gonna be your uh uh stunt double, do all your dirty work stuff, you know? You sure. know your voices over so you can oh. figure it, you know? I'll do that for you. All right, I appreciate it. So what that makes it uh makes you a very uh successful Canadian Hollywood actor. What makes me successful? Yes. I don't fucking know. I couldn't tell you. Uh, a bit of luck for sure. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I mean, I tell anybody who, whoever says they're interested in acting, you have to sacrifice everything. You know, you, you can't part time it and, uh, and have a safety net really because so many people want to do it. Uh, you know, I started when I was super young, so I didn't have, I didn't have expenses. I didn't have a kid. I didn't have a mortgage, any of that shit. So I could live on fuck all. Uh, and then as I got older, I made more money and it, and it all worked out. But it doesn't work out for everyone. And, uh, you know, I think there's a bit of luck involved. Uh, you need to get certain. You need to be in shit that people see to increase your profile and work with a lot of people. And the more people you work with, the more likely you're going to work again. And, you know, you just. You just got to be available, basically. Uh, even doing theater, I did theater pretty much full time for a few years, and uh, and that takes you out of the film and TV loop because you're not available. So you have to be available, and you have to be able to drop whatever the fuck you're doing, and and show up and be ready to do whatever the fuck you got to do. You know. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a five minute pitch with you on this half an hour podcast uh, for Windsor actors and filmmakers that okay. I want to 
use this as a pitch. I just so I'm going to just show this on on YouTube. Then I'm going to put it on YouTube. And uh, and so what 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 would your pitch be in Windsor, Ontario? It's three uh, two or th it's two or three floors. This thing, and I want to go up having it uh, multiple things going at once. You know, uh, for instance, you being there, like hosting it, say downstairs and doing interviews, and and upstairs there there's some the other interviews going on, and next door there's green screening going on with the cosplay girls, and and it's just a multitude of things that are going on to put okay. to put Windsor on the map for for whiff in five minutes, five minutes, five. Okay, how would you do that, sir? And I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. I don't even know what oh. you're talking. about. It's what is this thing? It's the Windsor actors and filmmakers. We need a five minute pitch, five minute pitch to, to, uh, uh, sell yourself so they can uh, buy, you know, a hook. We need a hook. We got Tony now. Yeah, I, I don't sell myself. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I'm I can't sell myself. myself. I'm selling myself as a you double actor. Yeah. I'm the product. Other people sell me. That's it. Oh, I got the wrong show. Yeah, yeah. The wrong show. Bitch, fuck off. Oh, you don't bitch, fuck off. Not for me. Come on. What do you want me to? What the fuck you want me to say? I don't even know what we're talking about. Forget Some about. Guy. Forget <laughs> about. Forget I about. I'm just gonna be your double from your the series we're gonna have. Fictitious series. Five minute film. Now you're you're the de uh, detective, and I do all your dirty stunt work. Like you know. Okay. Clean dishes because you're lazy. You don't want to do them. Uh, you sure, know, sure. get in toilet paper. Uh, whatever. Sure. Maybe I'll fucking marry you. <laughs> I'm a stalker, so I'll be stalking <laughs> you. <man. laughs> no, in all seriousness, uh, 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 you're a wonderful actor. I've been watching you, and you have a lot of cool series. You know, you know that. Uh, you know, as an Italian, especially, uh, I, I got lucky when I was younger. I did this cartoon called Forget About It. Forget about it, Tony Falcone. Fred Flintstone of fucking Woodbridge. Yes, yes. And then, uh, you know, I, uh, Bad Blood was another big one. Yep. Uh, Saw Two, Four Brothers, Land of the Dead, um, blah, blah, blah. You yeah. know, so. The list goes on. Um, yeah, but, it's, but I've been in, you know, I've been in, you know, in Canada, you do like 10 jobs nobody ever sees. And then if you're lucky, one that people do see. Right. Uh Shit's Creek, you know, I, I did one episode, but everybody fucking saw it. Uh, I did two seasons of Strays and nobody even knew the show was on, uh, which is too bad because I love that show. Yeah, that was fun. Are you coming up with a new series? Any big projects coming? No, I'm on, I'm I'm going to be in a show. I can't I'm not allowed to talk about it until they announce it or whatever. But uh, that's the you double series, uh, the, uh, the detective series of you and I in and I'm your stunt double, right? You can't talk about that, but we're gonna we're gonna uh, portray that scene. But, but you talk about it constantly, so uh, you're gonna you're gonna go to jail or some fucking thing. <laughs> I hope not. But uh, yeah, it was just a joke. I'm just having fun, and uh, it's fictitious. And uh, this is part of the show. It's trying to be the five minute hook, but uh, actually <laughs> we're going backwards with this. We're going backwards. Look, look we don't even have a fucking show. backwards. We I don't show. You fake it till you make it. You know what I mean. <laughs> Like it. Sure. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> I love you, man. So, uh, yeah, you've been in the business for what, uh, since 91, 92? 30 fucking years, yeah. Around 30 years. Wow, man. Yeah. So, any big have... plans? In New York, I went to school, a uh, place called the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. I graduated in 91. Uh, so, I guess I probably did a job or two before school or school but for the most part 91 till now is i don't know 30 fucking two years or something wow good for you man uh so you're a successful actor at it and uh and, you know now i am now i work all the time but uh you know along the way there were years that were bad years that were good uh now i'm just a guy you know i've got like 180 some fucking credits now so i've worked with almost everyone in town and People in the industry know me, and that that helps a bit. You know, it's not it's not like I'm starting from scratch every time, uh, although it feels like it sometimes. <laughs> well, that's great to have it, a popular actor like yourself in some of the movies. Uh, you know, I've been sure, years, and uh, I'm happy. 
people on the street don't know me or anything, but but in the industry, people know, you know, certain types of parts. They're gonna they're gonna think about me uh, because I played those parts for thirty fucking years now. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not like it's not like I'm known or or famous or anything like that. I'm just I'm just an actor. People know they can count on. I I think. I can count on you for tonight. I appreciate it. you took the time. You penciled me in for the U double series for uh, uh, fictitious uh, police officer. Uh, for do it just to get you to stop fucking hounding me all the time. I'm gonna be your stalker if you didn't do it. I want to just stalk to you forever. But I'll I'm be like five fucking times today. <laughs> That's good. I'm I'm glad uh, I got a hold of you. And uh, we're both busy. We got a snowstorm. Of I'm just waiting for calls, but. Uh, I appreciate anyone asking me to fucking talk to anybody. Uh, you know, it's uh, like I said, I'm not uh, I'm not a famous guy. And I'm and I'm, and I'm not a guy that, uh, you know, if, 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 if we're promoting a show or something, uh, producers generally, they don't want me. People, they don't want me to talk to people because I'll tell them what I fucking think. I hear you. Yeah. Well, I'm the manager, producer, director and set designer for this show. And, yeah. The uh, show you haven't written yet. That doesn't exist. Know. We're gonna make it. We're gonna fake it to you. Make it. You know, fake it as we go. We That's the best plan. pitch. Best plan. <laughs> now, I, I, I didn't have it all written down, and I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, but I'm still gonna be a you double. Okay. Hopefully one day and some. That's that's that's. Do that. I was just wondering if maybe you can come down to uh, Windsor sometime. If you ever come down here, would you? Do that? Never. I don't think I've ever been to Windsor ever. Uh. So, yeah, I, I'd like to do that. Yeah, so, uh, you know, maybe you can come down and, uh, whoa, don't burn the place down. Almost burned my hand and my mouth. Wow, you're getting all excited, eh? But anyway. Yeah, I, uh, I'm always burning shit. Would you come <laughs> down for Windsor actors and filmmakers? and uh, no. If you're available. When is it? It's a place where they have... Uh, when the fuck is it? When? Monday, I'll when, fix when, Answer me. Whoa. When? I need that information to let you know if I can come. Well, it's not anytime soon. Monday. Monday. You want to come <laughs> Monday? That's where I'm going my, Monday, 1030. Does it fucking exist or you just made it up? Oh, no, this is true. No, I'm saying the near future. No, yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. When the weather's nice and uh, I'll spring oh, I'll speak off now, okay? And we're gonna do some uh, some recording. Yeah, sure, whatever you want. If you come down and uh, we'll, we'll we'll work something out. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, as long as you can get down here. Uh, okay. And we'll put you at a cockroach motel on my budget. And on it. Something, and then I'll work something out with them, and then this will be my pitch. You'll work something out with a cockroach motel. <laughs> you want? Hotel. Okay. So the Windsor actors and filmmakers will will do that. We'll do that. How's that? And a date. <laughs> and the weather's more favorable. I wouldn't want you traveling with a snowstorm. And it's fucking terrible. Tonight. Pardon me? Terrible. Terrible yeah. night. Yeah, I postponed our pod a podcast because uh I wasn't at home at a certain time and you couldn't make it home because uh you were on the corner probably uh talking to the bums. I uh and uh, spitting out your nose there, uh, doing that. I love that. I love that kind of scene and that, uh, you know, and you elaborating on that. Sure, sure. That's funny. That's funny. That, that, that blew your mind there. But, yeah, so nothing big coming. What's the last biggest film you ever did? Uh, well, I did I did a film with Richard Gere um, recently. Uh, I did an episode of some thing that was really good actually called surreal estate but no one's ever heard of it uh really good show really good show um and uh like i said this other big big show i can't i'm not allowed to talk about yet uh and now i'm just auditioning to see what comes next fantastic um i thank you for this audition for you do you double so uh you know <laughs> nowhere fast but uh who's the most famous actor that you work with in your eyes like the biggest actor, the influence. Well, you know, uh, Richard Gere is a big actor. Uh, I, I've worked with Wesley Snipes. I work with Samuel Jackson. Uh, uh, Joey Pants uh, is a buddy now. Um, 
Tim Coates, Anthony LaPaya, uh, Enrico Colantoni, uh, all the bad blood guys, Sorvino. Um, uh, uh, I don't know, so fucking many. So many. Uh, those are the those are the ones that jump into my head. What's the most influential actor you had? Influential that you? Oh, when I was growing up, it was all De Niro. I mean, I, I I thought I wanted to be a taxi driver. I thought I wanted to be a boxer. I thought I I wanted to be whatever I saw him be. I didn't realize uh, I wanted to be an actor. You know, I just sort of hero worshipped the guy for years. And um, and Pacino, of course, Sean Penn. Uh, I liked Ryan Gosling when he started acting. Uh, I thought he chose interesting things to do. Johnny Depp back in the day. Um, yeah, those, those are the guys that jump into my head. Um, but, you know, the, the, the actors who I also have paid attention to are not the movie stars because because that's not kind of what I do. So uh, I looked at I look at the Joey Pants. I look at the. You know, the uh, what's his fucking name? Danny Aiello, Bruno Kirby, all the Italian like second banana guys. All the Goombas, the Goombas. Yeah. In, like, in, in, instead of the Rat Pack in Toronto, we call ourselves the Prosciutto Pack. The Prosciutto. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Same fucking 10, 15 guys at every audition for Italians, right? Oh. Uh, now there's only 10 or 15 of us left when there was, you know, 300. Uh, 20 years ago. Wow. So you think that uh, the film industry is shrinking? No, no. It's just as you get older, people quit. You know, if people don't work, they quit. So by the time you get to be, I'm 55 years old now. By the time you're 55, you know, all the, all the shit actors are gone. They quit or they die or people die or people, whatever. Shit, life comes up. Right. Uh, to, to still even be acting at this age you know and working you have to be fucking really good so every every guy i audition against could do the job every time it's just you know i'm i'm either the more i could be either funny or or a tough guy but i'm very blue collar i'm very uh you know i'm i'm very street uh there's other italian guys who are a bit older a little more dignified a little more white collar uh a little more debonair, you know, uh, I don't, I don't, I, I don't do that. I, I could act it, but they actually are it. So, you know, uh, no, everybody's got a long resume and everybody's fucking good now. So if the parts, even if I give a great audition, doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get the part because somebody else is going to do a great audition and be more right for the part, you know, younger or cuter or, well built or taller or whatever the fuck they happen to need for that job. So describe yourself that would best suit a role. Your your all your demeanor, your actions, whatever. What what uh, best role? I, mean, I do cops and robbers basically. I mean, I, I like doing other things. I like uh, I I like to be challenged for sure. Uh, I'm I'm starting to play a lot of fathers now that I'm getting older. Um. But it's always kind of mob guys and and cops. It's just that when I was younger, I was I was a you know a uniform cop, and the and the the third mob guy from the left. And over the years, I got you know the second guy from the left, and then the second banana, and and now every once in a while I'm, you know, the main mob guy, or the main cop or detective. But uh, that's just uh, because I'm older and. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, I'm a better actor than I was then, but I'm also, you know, uh, uh, you know what I play well is a guy who's been around and uh, and lived a life because I have been around and I have lived a life. You know, I've uh, I've, uh, I've lived a bunch of fucking lives now and oh, for I, sure. I don't have to act uh, the criminal shit. I, I've, I've lived it. And, and uh I don't know. It's just the world it, that that's a world I'm really comfortable in. And, and, you know, a world I grew, I mean, the, you know, TV and, and film cops and robbers isn't real cops and robbers. It's uh, it, it's nowhere close to it. You know, I look, I look like a tough guy on TV, but 
you put me next to a real tough guy and I don't look fucking tough at all. <laughs> wait, a minute. wait a minute. I thought Adam 12 was based on actual events that happened and uh, they played, they betrayed the parts. Which one? Bad Blood? No, uh, Adam 12. Oh, Adam 12. Yeah. Adam 12 yeah. is my favorite all time. Uh, I remember Adam 12. I don't remember a lot about it, but I remember it. But those are based on true events. That's what it says. Right. On yeah. So. Right. And uh, Car 54 is another one I like, too. But uh, that's just <laughs> that's a copy. Sure. Of course. I, I'm you know what? I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I fucking love that show. Uh, I have watched that in so long. I like you know I used to watch Hill Street Blues, uh, uh, NYPD Blue. Dennis Franz was fucking great right. on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jimmy Smith was great on that. Uh, I like watch. I'm watching this thing, Slow Horses, with Gary Oldman now, who's another great actor. Um, yeah, I, you know I watch a lot of TV and movies. I live alone. I just me and my dog, and uh, I'm always I'm always why I just want to. You know, I don't really watch it for entertainment, although I can be entertained. I just, I, it's part of my job, I think, to just uh, watch everything, go see shows in the theater, know what the fuck people are doing. So tell us a part. You've never been to Windsor, but you played a, a part in uh, Robocop in Detroit, which is right next to. <laughs> well, we shot it in Toronto. Oh, you shot it in Toronto? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. Was that you that sent me that fucking thing or no? That was me. Of course, it's me. It was you. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I, I, I haven't even thought about Robo. You know, I've been in so many things now. Some of the things I, I just did and forgot about immediately. Uh, but I remember doing RoboCop because uh, we shot it at this abandoned gas station, which is still there uh, on Eastern, I think. And uh, and Scott, uh, Colum Columby, 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 Columby. I don't know what his fucking. I don't know how to say his name, but. He was in Porky's. He was like a big fucking actor in his seventies, mm -hmm. and uh, and I and he uh, he was in town doing it. And he said, "Do you want to have dinner?" And we went out and had dinner. And he was a, he was a great guy. So that's my biggest memory of of doing that show. And uh, free dinner. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't, I don't even know if we went for dinner or went for drinks or what. I was like twenty something back then. Um. But yeah, you know, I uh, back then I got beat up, arrested, or killed on every fucking TV show in Toronto. Uh, I, I was like the disposable bad guy of the week, um, on on almost everything. And and in the in the eighties and nineties, there was a lot of like RoboCop type shows, where you know you just go in and do fight scenes and and rob people and. You know, whatever, whatever the fuck. You uh, violence attracts uh, attention, right? All even today. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, I don't mind violence at all. Uh, the world is full of violence. Uh, I don't mind depicting it, but uh, you know, some shows are shit, and some shows do it well. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't remember RoboCop being a good show, but uh, but it was a very popular. You know, it, it was it was like a formula show every week. There was bad guys, and every week he caught them. <laughs> you know, there was a there wasn't much mystery to it. I think it was futuristic in its time and day. And for sure, for sure, yeah. And I think it's still so cool that uh, that that series or that. Like, never been a, like I've never seen Star Wars. Like I'm just not a I'm not a fucking future guy. Hockey guy. I'm not a space. I'm not a sci-fi guy. Um. Yeah, it's just like uh, I, I when I was young, I watched Rocky and Smokey and the Bandits and fucking uh, uh, you know Richard Pryor movies or whatever. Like I, 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 I always leaned more towards comedy or or just kind of like a uh, you know stories, simple stories. Uh, I've I've never been a huge action fan. I I don't really you know I got nothing against Marvel movies, but they bore the fuck out of me. Like, I can't watch fight scenes for 45, 50 fucking minutes of a movie. Except that movie, Everything Everywhere All the Time or All at Once, uh, this Asian multiverse movie. It was all action, but it was also super smart. Uh, so I actually did really enjoy that. There was, there was something a little bit different about it. And, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't just 
uh, fight scenes and chase scenes and and special effects. It was it was uh, it was fucking brilliant. I thought. Wow. So, yeah. um, give us a, a candid moment or a funny thing that you remembered of. Uh, forget about it. Say a scene that that, that you picks in your mind that cracks you up, and let's see you can do it. Uh, I know, you know, I don't, I can't, I, I barely remember doing the show now. We've, we've finished it for so long ago, but, but I, you know, I still always say to people, will like sort of recognize my voice and then I'll give them, uh, you know, the opening is, uh, how you going? I'm Jimmy Falcone. I used to be a big shot, my, uh, big shot capital in a New York crime family, blah, 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 blah. You know, and then people, uh, be like, oh my God, I fucking can't believe it's you, it's you. And then like, uh, you, you didn't know me when you saw me, <laughs> you know. If I, if I have to tell people who I am, I can't be uh, I can't be all that big a deal, right? Yeah, well, that's okay. That uh, you know, I didn't know until I started doing research on you. Right, right. right there's so yeah, much. No. It, so it, I mean, it it keeps me humble because I have no reason not to be humble. I'm just uh, I'm grateful that I get the amount of work I do, and uh, you know, I want to keep just doing good work. Uh, at a certain point in time, like uh, I've accomplished mostly everything I set out to do. So I, you know, at 55 now, I'm like, well, what the fuck do I do now? Like, just, I guess, keep just doing the same thing over and over, but um, hopefully find new ways to challenge myself or, or, or just age into different categories. And, you know, I'll be everyone's grandfather at some point soon. Well, I hope to have you back on the show and possibly down in Windsor sometime for the... Uh, I don't feel like I have a choice. Uh, yes, I'm going to... Yeah, <laughs> we'll set you up a cockroach, cockroach motel and we'll yeah. get to we're going to have a couple scenes we're going to film at this place and uh, maybe you can, uh, you know, put a finger in her eye like you just did there and uh, <laughs> figure something... On my fucking phone, I had to clear the screen every time somebody uh, texted it. And everybody wants to talk to you, man. It's a pleasure yeah. to be on my show. And You're my date tonight, so that's it. Yeah, yeah, Nobody gets to talk to you. I'm glad on a night like this, what else can you do? Have fun in your own comforts of your own home. And for sure. Do a podcast safely at your home. And uh, yeah. thanks for having me. I'm glad to finally do this with you. Finally, I stalked you for months, <laughs> years, for years. No, Merciless. I, Merciless. I, I reached out to, to you and said, I want to come down to Toronto. And do a podcast. This is well. They sent me a bunch of links, and you got a million podcasts going on with everybody. <laughs> oh sure. my god! I try to beat everybody to the punch, and uh, <laughs> popular and a uh, big, big actor. You know, and okay. you're all everywhere, man. So thank you again. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. And I'd have. I hope to have you back soon, and uh, maybe okay. come to Windsor. Uh, Sometime in the summertime or whenever. You let me can. know. You let me know. Pencil you in. Okay, buddy. Sound good? Sounds good. Thank you, man. Thank you. Love Next, you. One more question. Did yeah. I pass the audition? No. Okay. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> but get a call back. You get a call back. I'll get a call back. Yeah. Well, you know anybody looking for Tony Napo uh, stunt double? Just, uh, I don't even know anybody looking for Tony Napple right now, so yeah, never mind. Don't the fuck worry, I'll be your stunt double. I'll do everything. Don't worry about it. I'll do okay. everything. All right. Thanks for I appreciate having me. It. It's okay, been buddy. Talking to you, man, face to face. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Yeah, all the best. Ciao. Love you. Love you.